He is known for being a prolific American novelist, essayist, and short story writer. He has achieved mainstream success with his award-winning novel, Motherless Brooklyn. His name is Jonathan Lethem. In the realm of contemporary literature, one name has left an indelible mark, Jonathan Allen Lethem. Lethem is an American novelist, essayist, and short story writer, known for his unique blend of genres and captivating storytelling. His literary journey began in 1994 with the publication of his first novel, Gun, with occasional music. This genre-bending work merged science fiction and detective fiction, captivating readers and establishing Lethem as a rising star in the literary world. However, it was Lethem's 1999 novel, Motherless Brooklyn, that catapulted him to mainstream success. This critically acclaimed novel, which won the National Book Critics Circle Award, masterfully weaves together themes of crime, detective work, and identity. Its complex characters and gripping plot drew readers in, cementing Lethem's reputation as a talented storyteller with a unique voice. In 2003, Lethem continued to captivate readers with his novel, The Fortress of Solitude. This work, which became a New York Times bestseller, delves into the themes of friendship, race, and coming of age in Brooklyn. Lethem's rich and vivid prose transports readers to a world that is both familiar and utterly enchanting. It is no wonder that this novel resonated with readers from all walks of life. In the bustling streets of New York City, Jonathan Lethem returned to his writing roots with his novel Motherless Brooklyn, a captivating detective story. This time, Lethem delved into the world of subjective alterity through his protagonist, Lionel Esrog, who has Tourette syndrome and an unparalleled obsession with language. Maintaining objective realism, Lethem explored the complexity of Esrog's character, earning critical acclaim upon publication in 1999. The success of Motherless Brooklyn was undeniable, as it received esteemed accolades such as the National Book Critics Circle Award for Fiction and the Macallan Gold Dagger for Crime Fiction. It was even named Book of the Year by Esquire. Lethem's talent caught the attention of actor Edward Norton, who announced plans to adapt the novel into a film, taking on the roles of writer, director, and lead actor. Norton's adaptation was released in 2019, further cementing the mainstream recognition of Lethem's work. As the New York Times pointed out, the triumph of motherless Brooklyn elevated Lethem to the status of a hipster celebrity, often described as a genre bender. Critics praised the diverse nature of Lethem's novels, which effortlessly blended elements of hard-boiled detective fiction, science fiction, and even autobiographical themes. Lethem attributed his ease with crossing genres to his father's art, which seamlessly combined observed and imagined realities. Lev Grossman of Time magazine identified Lethem as part of a literary movement alongside authors like Michael Chabon, Margaret Atwood, and Susanna Clark, all eager to merge literary and popular writing. In the early 2000s, Lethem continued to showcase his versatility as a writer. He released a collection of short stories, edited two anthologies, and wrote magazine pieces. Additionally, he published the novella This Shape We're In, one of the inaugural works under McSweeney's books, the publishing imprint founded by Dave Eggers. In a fascinating turn, Lethem embarked on a big sprawling novel, The Fortress of Solitude, which was published in 2003. Combining elements of semi-autobiographical buildings Roman and a tale of racial tensions and boyhood in Brooklyn during the late 1970s, the novel introduced readers to numerous compelling characters. Set in the neighborhood of Borham Hill, it followed two friends from different backgrounds, growing up amidst a rapidly changing cultural landscape. The Fortress of Solitude earned critical acclaim, being named one of the New York Times' editor's choice books and translated into 15 languages, captivating readers worldwide. Lethem's literary journey continued with his second collection of short fiction, Men and Cartoons, which hit bookshelves in late 2004. In 2005, he showcased his prowess as an essayist with the release of The Disappointment Artist, a collection of introspective essays. The prestigious MacArthur Fellowship, also known as the Genius Grant, was bestowed upon Lethem in September 2005, a testament to his exceptional talent and contributions to the literary world. Short fiction held a special place in Lethem's heart, as he once stated in an interview that it allowed him to experiment and take risks, offering a different creative experience than writing novels. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.